Given the growth in our aging population, it's vital that we begin to learn as much as we can about the prevention and management of chronic disease and that we bring these lessons back home to the United States. The International Field Research Program grew out of my own research in Europe, looking at the programs that were international best practices designed to improve prevention and management for the high cost healthcare users. The theme for the Swiss class is introduction to international field research methods, a lifespan approach to health and aging. In spring semester in the U.S., students conduct research on a topic related to this theme. Conducting the background research paper uh, here in the United States as part of the course uh, during the spring semester really prepared me for going to Switzerland and kind of bringing the research project full circle. Um, when you just think about it, think about going out into the field abroad especially, it's very intimidating and being able to do it within the structure of a class was just really helpful uh, just to get my foot in the door of doing international research. It's completely different to do a literature review and do a research and when you're actually, when you have the hands-on experience and when you're doing a field work, it's completely different. Uh, well, the class definitely uh, showed me the benefit of qualitative research and field research. Um, I've always been a quantitative research person, uh, but I learned really how much you can learn from an expert interview. One of the most important thing I learned is that your research questions and your topic has to be relevant to the locations you'll be exposed to. Now, you might ask, why Switzerland? Switzerland has lower rates than the U.S., actually lower than most of Europe, in chronic diseases. So we're really interested in what the Swiss are doing, what policies they've implemented, what lifestyles people are living, what they're doing with exercise and diet, stress reduction. These are issues that we can learn from. Probably one of the most interesting experiences was uh, meeting the large group of uh, walkers who were all over 60 years old, some of them in their 80s, and just really kind of comparing uh, the elderly there and the elderly here and realizing that their entire lives they've been uh, exercising and they've been involved in physical activity. What surprised me the most was that I n would have never thought of hike doing hiking before. That would just not even cross my, cross my mind. So that was very good experience. I, I didn't know that, you know, it, it could actually be enjoyable and how actually moving around is very necessary to your health. 2010 was the 10th year for this program. We've had 125 students in seven different countries doing field research and field research exercises. We want to encourage students to think about career opportunities and graduate studies that are related to the needs of a workforce for an aging population. This may include the traditional areas, geriatric medicine, nursing, physical therapy, as well as areas such as information systems, pharmacy, health education. I had the chance to meet some really key people who had the exact information <laughs> I think that I needed to hear at the right time to help me realize that that dream of that doctoral degree of going on of being able to be the principal investigator of my own research uh, studies and it can happen now. I think this experience essentially was just one of the more exciting things I've done at UMBC. I've loved everything that I've done here and participated in, but this was just a unique experience that I'm really excited to put on my resume, really excited to put on my applications to go to graduate school because who knows how many other people have gotten to do undergraduate international research. This is more than rewarding, more than just, you know, experiencing other people's culture, but also learning about yourself. Each individual piece was really incredible, but they came together so beautifully um, to form uh, a really kind of, for me, life-changing experience. 